Hey Lennies, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be something I've never really done before. Here's the story, here's the tea. So, last night I was ever so innocently scrolling through Facebook, minding my own beeswax, stalking ex-boyfriends, you know, the usual, and then all of a sudden I get slapped with this ad because Facebook keeps stealing my data and showing me things that I'm passionate about. I get shown this ad for KT's new open living habitat. And so I watched the ad and it was so ridiculous. I was so dumbfounded that I was just like, I have to react to this. But then I decided to take it a step further and I was like, no, I'm gonna buy it and react to it. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I know that many of you may have come across this, may have been considering it or are on the fence about it. So hopefully this video helps you make the right decision. So help us out by subscribing, smashing the like button and hitting the bell for unlimited bunny content. And yes, I am always feeling the burn. Had to get it. So just to give you some background on KT for my international friends or maybe those who just are new to the bunny world, KT is a brand that is geared toward small pets, you know, rabbits, guinea pigs and the like, but they're just not a very respectable brand in my opinion. And the truth is KT's target audience is the first time uneducated rabbit buyer. And there's a little bit of that person in all of us. I was that person, you were probably that person at one point. And so a lot of these people just walk into the stores and they're like, all right, I'm taking that, I'm taking that. And they don't really do the research. So much to unpack here. I just want to say this video is strictly about the bunnies. I can't speak about guinea pigs or any other animals that KT markets to. This seems like it's KT trying to mooch off of the free roaming movement and culture that exists now by not calling it a cage. It's like they've euphemized it by calling it an open living habitat, but it's really just a cage. So just call it what it is, KT. It's a cage and they don't want to use that word because they know that they're gonna lose people. So this cage's retail price is like 140, 150 bucks. I'll put the actual price right here. That's a lot of money, but this is really important because the sides of this cage are 19 inches high. Bunnies can jump three feet or higher. 19 inches is not even two feet. So you are then forced to buy the roof, right? Cause they're selling it separately, which then puts more money into the pockets of KT. It's just a rip off because your rabbit will escape if you don't buy the roof. Let's talk about the liner. This is really silly because this is basically just a giant litter box. You're lining the entire habitat with this material and then throwing in a bunch of bedding. I mean, to fill that whole thing up is just such a waste of bedding. Just give your bunny a litter box. Just so much easier, so much more practical. Are you really gonna empty this thing out every couple days, clean it out, put it back in, do the same thing over and over? It just, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. How are you supposed to even clean that liner anyway? Like, are you supposed to throw it in your bathtub and like, wash it like i just don't understand how this is any easier than a litter box your rabbit is then living in their own feces and urine day in and day out that's not sanitary it's not going to smell good and it's just again not practical but the catch is this is just going to make the customer purchase more and more bedding from KT, which again is just gonna put more money into their pockets. Also, there's this section at the end where they say, this is great if you have small children and other pets. I mean, wow, KT, this cage is not going to protect them from other animals, okay? It looks like a very weak cage. And secondly, I've always said that bunnies and toddlers are not a good combo. And that's not to say bunnies and small kids cannot coexist. Obviously under the right supervision and right care, it can happen, but there's just far too many stories of toddlers dropping the bunnies or poking the bunnies in the eye with a stick. I mean, God, and the bunnies wind up at the shelter, they're injured. So I think that information was fluff 
the ad could have done without that information. An X pen, like I said, is like 30, 40 bucks. So this is insane for them to be charging this kind of money for this kind of product. So come with me and Lennon to go pick up this cage. All right, we gotta find this thing. Here we are. I don't know which one to pick. I'm gonna grab the biggest one just cause I feel like it'll do you a better favor to see how big can this really go? Is it appropriate? Is it not appropriate? I personally would rather carry the smaller one, but let's just go with the bigger one. The bigger one retails for $139.99, which is insane. And the smaller one retails for $109.99. All right guys, so here it is. Got the box right here. Remember, I chose the biggest one, and this is what it looks like in person. Doesn't look very big, does it? And yes, don't judge. I am wearing my pajama pants, and you would too if it was your video. So as you guys can see, this is not high at all. This is really, really short. Frustrated. Why isn't it clipping like the other sides? Oh my god, bunnies would totally eat this. Oh, this is upside down. Oh my god, so lame. guys just doing all of this it is so much more work than cleaning out a litter box like so I'm gonna fill this up with litter like they did in the video so this is all of the bedding that I have guys I can tell you right now that this is not even going to remotely fill up this cage as you can see I just poured in a ton of of litter that was quite expensive and it doesn't even fill up half of the cage actually not even a quarter of it this is all the space that Lennon would get if she lived in here you know can you want to come out honey She's already finding, looking for ways to escape. Look, she's already chewing the liner, guys. Hi, Joel. You know I would never put you in here on purpose, honey. You know I would never leave you. Lennon hated it, you guys. She hated it. I also want to show you guys that I just tried to dump all of the litter back into the container. And look at this. This is not cleaner or easier than a litter box, I'm telling you, or just free roaming. Like, and I just want to show you guys how easily a rabbit could just pop that open. This is not secure whatsoever. All that they would need to do is just push a little bit and this would come undone. Okay, so I moved this over to the carpet so that Lennon has a little bit of traction Let's see how long it takes her to escape. You can do it, Lennon, you can do it. it guys <laughs> that's all it took all right guys so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you want me to do something like this again or if there's any new products that come out in the future that you want me to test out 
let me know in the comments as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell and all that jazz, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.